So data and variables come in a variety of types, right? And understanding these types is going to be an important step toward understanding what we can do with the data and what we can't. So the highest level distinguishes between variables that represent counts or measurements and variables that don't, right? So um, one way to think about the distinction is to ask yourself, does the average of the values tell me something about the population? Or if the answer is yes, then the data is quantitative. If the answer is no, then it's qualitative. All right, so let's look at some examples. Right, so the first thing it, it helps to do is think about some values. Right, the values of gender are words, right, like male and female. Right, these are labels for people, but they don't represent a measurement. So this is a qualitative variable. Now, heart rate, on the other hand, is a measure of how fast your heart is beating. Or looking at it another way, it's a count of the number of times it beats per minute. And it's a measurement or a count, so that makes this a quantitative variable. Now, there's a, there's a tendency to think of quantitative data as being numeric and qualitative data as non-numeric, but that isn't strictly correct. You can see that with something like blood pressure. Blood pressure is normally given not as a number, but as a pair of numbers. For example, 120 over 80 or 110 over 90. Since this isn't, strictly speaking, a numeric value, we have to put it into the qualitative category. Now, if we if we just look at the systolic blood pressure, that's the first number in the pair. Okay, then this is a numeric measurement of the pressure in a in a patient's circulatory system. So this would be a quantitative variable. So I've got a few more examples here, right? Try thinking through these on your own to see how you would classify each one. Uh, then we can go over them together. Okay, rainfall levels are numbers, usually you know inches or centimeters, that measure how much rain has fallen. So this would be a quantitative variable. Jersey numbers, yeah, they're numbers, but they aren't measurements. They're just a label given to each player. You could replace them with letters, right, and get the same result. Since nothing is being measured or counted here, this one is a qualitative variable. A blood alcohol level, that's a measure of how much alcohol is in a person's blood. So this is a quantitative variable. And the social security numbers, again, despite being numbers, are just a label or a tool for distinguishing between two people. They aren't measuring or counting any property of the people they're assigned to. So this is a qualitative variable. Now, in general, qualitative variables aren't very interesting and in the sense that there isn't a lot we can do with them. They can be grouped and they can be counted, but that's more or less where our ability to analyze them is going to end. So quantitative variables, on the other hand, uh, have a lot more potential. So that's where we're going to be focusing our attention going forward. 